that you're going to run a fight camp in a quarantine. (laughs) Yeah, well, on top of that, I was just thinking, you know, there's no way these fights are going to happen. Like, if the whole world's affected by it, you know, and like, uh, Dana Weiss, like, if there's any man that can make this kind of (laughs) happen, it would be Dana. Dana can, they'll scrap heaven and earth happen if they wanted to. But I, I just... Which I just, I don't know, I just seemed like it was just was not. I was just like, okay, they're going to write it to the rules off. Once we seen those three fight events got canceled and we seen Khabib got stuck, I was like, okay, if they can't make that fight happen, then there's no way they're going to bother trying to make this. But he's doing it. <laughs> I just I just can't, like, you know, as much as I'd want to. It actually makes me a little bit depressed, but I think it's the best decision for me to make. What do you think about the news that Dana White came out with that he's trying to find a private island now? <laughs> To host the fights? I mean, Does that I just th- sound like Fantasy Island? Yeah, I think... It, dude, that'd be just, like, crazy, man. It's just, it, it's just the way things are unfolding, especially during this time, you know, with everything that's going on in the world to, to scramble. I mean, I, I love it and I appreciate it, but it's just, like, it's hard for me to not think the... You know, there's just so much going on and it would just, I would hate to like, it's great because it's almost like some kind of light in this darkness that's going on. So it'd be great to be able to have, you know, a sport there, you know, to help us feel better and entertain about the chaos that's going on in the world. And and I think that's awesome. But I mean, for me, it's a little, it's hard because I mean, this is, this is, you know, to combat sport, it's, it's a dangerous sport if you go in there untrained, you know, but if you're trained there and you're ready for whatever happens and, you know, it's okay. But, um, there's just a lot of measures that go in there, you know, to, to go in there. It's not like I'm not a fighter. It's not like I don't know how to fight, but I would think that with all of this, you know, me making a new transition and, you know, going in there and giving another, like, you know, it, it's just, I, I don't know. I want to be the best me out there. And that's something like making that transition to, to AK where I was like, man, I really want to show the best of me and go out there and just in the chaos. I just have to really just kind of look at things. And I think it's just kind of the, the right thing for me. It was a really hard position, but yeah. So I actually met you last year in um, Dustin Poirier fight camp because you came to train. So now this will be your second time in one of Habib's camps. I know I've, a lot of people come to visit, even like people fly from other countries whenever Habib is in camp. So I'm just used to like ha- having like other fighters come in to the gym whenever he's in camp. So how, how, what did you think about, I mean, obviously the gym completely changes when he's in town. He brings his whole entourage and everything is completely packed. So what did you think about this camp, this Habib fight camp versus the last Habib fight camp or when he's in town versus like the average day to day? I mean, I think it's great. One of the, uh, it's, when I came down that one time, I think it was just for a little bit. I was helping my friend get ready for one of his up and coming fights and I was visiting in town. And so it just happened to be that, you know, Khabib was in this fight camp. And, um, I mean, I definitely seen the energy that comes when he's around, you know, I feel like he, he pushes the the level and energy in that room. He makes everybody work harder. We do extra credit work after, you know what I mean? And, and it's awesome. I, I, I really appreciate that. Um, because it pushes me, to work harder. So I love the energy. Um, this time, it obviously, it was going to be different because I was actually training there on the mat alongside them. And um, man, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Like, it just pushed me hard. I was excited. I was like, man, I'm excited to be, you know, have my fight camp while he has his fight camp, you know? He fights a week before me and then I fight a week after. And it's, dude, it's awesome. I, I really, I really enjoy when he's in there. Definitely. I mean, not that the, the guys don't work, hard all year round there at the gym with Khabib or not, but there's definitely a different type of energy when he's in town. For sure. 